Yo, what's going on guys? Cinematic and uh, we're going to talk about Clan Wars a little bit because I just started playing the Clan Wars and I kind of wanted to give you guys an overview of what Clan Wars is because it took me a while to gather up information about Clan Wars. It seems like there's no uh, official place to get information about it. You have to scour the internet. I know Charlie Intel had some uh, good stuff and uh, a few other places. I will link some stuff in the description down here if you want to read it. But uh, let me start off by telling you some things that I had to learn on my own. First of all, I thought Clan Wars was a Clan v Clan thing and it is not. Uh, you can go on the Clan v Clan playlist if you want to, but you actually get your um, stats from playing core games or hardcore games, either one. Um, and not by go you you can get them when you go in clan v clan also but a lot of people don't like the clan v clan playlist so therefore here's how it works all right so when a clan war starts you go on your phone it shows you these capture points and they are uh, different locations with different things like you have tdm domination cranked search and rescue uh, then you have like hardcore tdm hardcore domination things like that so anyways what you're going to do is you're going to go in there and you're going to play regular whatever you want. Regular TDM, hardcore TDM, whatever it is that you like to play. And uh, as your wins stack up, it'll tell you if you go look on your phone how many wins it takes to capture that node. So mine right now, my clan is not very big, so it's like 6 wins or 12 wins. Now here's something that, that you guys, if you don't know yet, is really important. Um, in order to gain clan XP when you're playing online... You need to have at least two clan members playing, you and one other person. Uh, the more the better, because if you go into 6v6 and uh, you win a game, then you have six wins. Each win counts, it counts for each person. So, anyways, back to the nodes. Okay, so there's a node, say there's a team deathmatch node, and it says it takes 12, 12 wins to capture that node. Uh, it, it will be the first out of the other seven clans because you get pitted up against seven other clans in each clan war the first person or team to uh get those 12 wins captures that node now every win thereafter is considered a defense so okay so if it takes 12 say it takes 12 to capture that node and my team goes in and wins 62 matches right and we have captured that node the other team then has to win 62 matches to make it like a neutral thing. Then they have to win 12 more matches to capture it. So, anyways, these are some of the things that I've learned. Also, capture points, I'm still not 100% on how they work exactly, but I can tell you that um, it will tell you on your mobile app how much a uh, objective is capture point-wise if you look on there. Like it'll say 22 or 28 or whatever. And uh, you'll get those points. And then also, from what I've been told now, is that if you hold it for an hour, then you get one point. So every 24 hours, you can gain an extra 24 capture points for each node that you're holding. Um, trying to cover as much stuff as I possibly can. I have linked, definitely, because I'm not going to speak and go over all of that. I have linked that they have updated to the esports rules, and it took me a minute to figure out. And you cannot figure it out like just by going in and doing it, because you have to actually launch a game to uh, change your classes to the uh, esports rules. So I've put a link in there, and it tells you all of the attachments you can't use, the perks you can't use, you can't use the ghillie suit, you know, things like that. So you can go in and set up your classes for. Uh, Clan v Clan. This is for Clan v Clan. I'm sorry, not for uh, Clan Wars. So for the Clan v Clan part, if you do want to play that, they have changed that to esports rules, and I have linked all of the things you cannot use in that. Now back to because I don't even play Clan v Clan anymore. I, I don't really care for it as much. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes I don't like it. I'd rather just play core. So what you would need to do, or what you would want to do, is gather your clan that plays a variety of different things. You want people that play TDM, people that play hardcore, people that are, are will play search and rescue if you don't like that. Those things are, can be kind of important, especially if you're playing on building a decent size clan because um, if not, you're going to end up having to play stuff that you don't want to play if you really, really want to win these clan wars. Um, 
I came in, I, this was the first one, this last one a couple days ago, uh, 15 hours, 15 hours from the end of the clan war, I figured all this stuff out, and we came in second place. So, and we were in bronze, I think it might start a lot of people out in bronze, and I, w I wanted to touch on that really quick. Um, Beachhead Studios actually tweeted out that the way they determine the clans you go up against in clan war... They said clans are first split by clan size. Then those groups are matched by the number of wins in the previous clan war. So what they're saying is if you have 50 clan members, they're going to try to match you up against other clans that are in a certain range. I'm assuming like 40 to 60. Um, and then say what they're going to do is they're going to say, oh, X amount of clans have 40 to 60 clan members. So they're over here on the left. And then they take those group of people... And they're going to say, ah, these ones won a lot, these one didn't win anything hardly. So we're going to match the guys that won a lot up against the other guys that won a lot last time. And then we're going to match the guys that didn't do well up against the other guys that didn't do well. That, every, that way, every time it keeps the competition better. And it also gives the guys that aren't very good at clan wars an opportunity to win clan wars. Now, they'll probably still be in like the bronze division or something like that. But at least they'll be able to win stuff and rank up their clans. Now, anyone who's made it this far that has not played Clan Wars and is not in a clan, I'll tell you why I made a clan and the benefits of it. If you can get in a good enough clan to uh, get in Gold Division and win some games, you don't have to win, or I'm not sorry, not win some games, but win some Clan Wars. You don't have to win every single Clan War, but if you win, I think it's four or more clan wars in gold division you will get the red ski mask that uh people wear there's also a red helmet there's a uh, other uh camo unlocks and things like that and just for being in a clan and playing the clan wars i don't even think you have to win the clan wars you have to rank your clan up is all you have to do um you get wallpapers backgrounds for um in game you you get uh patches things like that so that's the reason that i started playing clan wars um if you have any questions of anything that i don't go over in here just uh ask me in the comment section and i'll try to find the answers for you because i didn't write this stuff out i'm just going off the top of my head the things i've read the last couple of days um one thing another thing that a lot of people at least me i was confused with is um you don't even have to play with your clan members but to get clan xp for your clan, you do have to play with one other clan member when you go in and play. Other than that, you can play with all randoms if you want. Um, so, you know, don't worry about, oh, do the guys that I are in my clan, are they all going to play together? Because they don't all have to play together. Some of them may never play together ever. Um, another thing that a lot of people probably want to know that I wanted to know that there is no actual answer to is, how do you move up in divisions? Well... The simple answer is win clan wars. So the way I'm looking at it is probably almost everyone starts out in bronze. So if you go into bronze against eight or seven other teams and you win that clan war, you'll probably get bumped up to the next level, which I think is silver. All right, so say you go from bronze to silver and you lose that clan war, you're subject to be bumped back down to bronze. So what you want to do is... To get to the gold, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to keep up on this. And uh, from what I've been told from Austere Wizard, I think every two weeks is when they're trying to do these clan wars to help you guys kind of get an idea of when they have them. Hopefully, they'll eventually get a schedule up to where we can go look and say, hey, there's a clan war this week, this week, this week, and this week. Um, but basically, the way I'm looking at it is, you need to go in, win a clan war, then maybe two clan wars and then they'll bump you up to the next division and as long as you keep winning uh you will stay in that division or move up anyways guys i don't normally do these videos and you know i'm not timing this stuff out i didn't write anything down and i kind of really don't have anything else i want to touch on right this minute i just wanted to clear some things up because like i said this is like clan wars for dummies because i was the dummy a couple days ago until I did a lot of research on it. And uh, I really hope, this is one thing I want to talk about, about Clan Wars that I hope that they do. I really hope that Beachhead Studios uh, will change the way their app is and put it on the computer. Because a lot of people don't even have cell phones. I have a cell phone, 
my cell phone is really glitchy with a lot of apps and um, I would just rather look at it on the computer I want to look at it on a big screen I want to be able to get more details um, I know Windows 8 if you have Windows 8 you can download it for your computer I think that it is that is like really messed up because I would probably say 80% of the people that I know still have Windows 7 I know people that have Windows XP but uh, they're just in the dark but the dinosaur age but anyways Windows 7 is not that old. I think that it should be available for, for Mac, Windows 7, and Windows 8 on the computer. That would make a lot of people's lives a lot easier. And um, that's really all I got to say about it right now. Like I said, if I didn't touch on something or if you would like to ask a question, leave it in the comments. Uh, if you found this video informational and helpful to you, please spread it around on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all that good shit. I'm out. Peace.